Hey everyone, welcome to the shop. Today I'm trying to turn this lawn tractor into an electric vehicle. I've been working on this project for a few months on and off. The first thing I did was acquire all of the lead acid batteries from my neighbor for $10 a piece. And uh, then I reconditioned those as best I could. I actually have, I think, eight or ten, but only about six of them were worth doing anything with. I had added distilled water to some of these to try to recondition them, and that did actually seem to help. So some of them it was just an issue of dehydration in the cell, but some of them just really didn't seem to recover at all. And by no means are all of these perfect. They're lucky to hold a 10 and a half volt to maybe a low 12 charge, something like that. But I figured between all of them, it's enough to drive this vehicle for a while. So I made this converter here uh, to go between the threading on this and this threading, as well as fit into the inner diameter of this piece. And this carriage ball will be trimmed down to actually apply some force to hold that in. I made this by welding three nuts together. One of them I tapped to be the correct threading for that. They're clearly mild steel though. Uh, and I put a washer between as well to stop the two shafts from sort of running into each other in case they sort of torque together. And then I wrapped two washers around them and welded those and then I ground everything down. I did this with a stick welder so there was a lot of slag and that sort of thing. Messy as expected but I felt the penetration would be good. Obviously it's not very strong. So what I'll end up doing is I'm gonna drill through here and put a couple cross bars in to help lock the shafts in place, which also may act as shear pins in the instance where it seems to over torque. But the entire thing I don't think is going to be very strong. So this is really just kind of a prototype for testing. Here the coupling is attached to the pulley as well as the motor. Seems pretty solid, but it's hard to tell exactly how well it was going to last. So I threw together a couple of pieces of plywood to make the manifold that's going to mount the actual electric motor. I'm waiting for those to dry. I used some glue to connect two pieces. Here's the motor. And uh, this was a quick test of a solid state relay for controlling this, but I did realize I'm going to need uh, some kind of hard switch besides this. This has been sitting for a few days, it should be fully dried. So I have this mounted on here. Unfortunately, a few things went wrong. Uh, for one, I actually had reversed the order I had to glue these in, so the orientation is asymmetrical. Doesn't really matter. The second thing is I was actually a half inch off. I had only estimated this, but I had to add some plywood as a half inch spacer here. Again, not that big of a deal. All of these, I had to dodge various components when putting these through to the plate on the bottom. Overall though, uh, I think it's fine. This actually works okay. I have it in forward right now. Now when I use the solid state relay to actuate, you can see it goes forward just fine. Flip it to reverse. So, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised to find, even with load, this uh, solid state relay is good enough to drive this thing. I do have to wonder if it really makes sense to even pulse with modulate this though, because it already has all of these gears here. Maybe I'll use this for speed control, this for on and off. And uh, the last piece, which is actually kind of tricky, is the charger, because this is a series circuit, so this is 72 volts of DC electricity, and I would have to have some kind of charging circuit that would actually bump all of that up to 72 volts. Alternatively, what I could do is have a parallel set for everything in trickle charge, and then a complex connector that would just sort of fit in and talk to all of them simultaneously in parallel. I would actually like to have some kind of manifold over the center battery and over these back batteries here. I'm hoping because this is using six batteries it will have a pretty good amount of amperage. So I'll do another video as things progress. The main thing is the charger. Depending on complexity I'll either build one with an Arduino or I may end up buying a charger 